Hi kindergarten friends, we are going to be learning about an artist named Henri Rousseau and there is a short video about him that I would like you to watch and what we're going to be doing for our project is we're creating a jungle much like what Henri Rousseau created in his paintings. Now he's never been to a jungle so you don't have to um, be someplace you can create and you just need to use your imagination. Uh, you can think about different animals that are from the jungle and you're going to be picking at least one of those to hide in your jungle drawing that you're going to be creating. We are going to be using your iPad and using the drawing pad as our tool for today. And I am going to share my screen with you so you can see what we are going to do. All right, now we've got our screen up. I would like you to find your drawing pad, which should be underneath your art apps. It is this one that has the marker, paintbrush, crayon, and colored pencil. Tap it, and when you come on and it opens, I would like you to click on the green button that is new. I'm going to turn it this direction for us. Now, on the side, there is a tool drawer. It has a little handle on it. We have used this a couple of times, and what I'd like you to do is you're going to decide which tool you would like to use. You can use paintbrush, colored pencil, crayon, marker, or you can use regular pencil too. I like to use the crayon, so I'm going to touch the crayon. And when you open it up, you can scroll down and you have all kinds of variety of colors. I am going to start with my animal first. And remember, you can do any animal from the jungle. So monkeys, uh, you can think of tigers, you can think about all kinds of different panthers, um, different birds that could be hiding in your trees. So think about what you would like. And remember, some of Henri Rousseau's pictures um, maybe didn't have realistic flowers that maybe were in the jungle, but he tried to add some other pop of color as well. So you could also add color with flowers in your trees and bushes. So let's start with, I'm gonna do a big cat. So a tiger, and I'm going to draw his face, and color it all in. Think about those simple shapes that we've worked with to, to help you draw your animal. And you're not going to have to do the whole animal because it is hiding amongst the trees. So you're going to do a portion of the animal. You could always do most of the animal and then start to cover it up with the color that you add in. All right, I need to get a black because I want some stripes. So I'm going to add this stripe. Here's my stripes. I'm going to add a nose, some little stripes, whiskers on his face, eyes, okay? Just your basics, and maybe we need to have a mouth in there too, okay? Now you're going to work on the picture around your animal. So think about, look at all these different variety of greens. So don't just choose one. You want to use a lot of different colors of green. In the jungle, there's lots of different greens that you can use. That would be grass and leaves. So I'm doing some tall grass right now. And then I'm going to get a different green that I can come in and use for some different leaves. Maybe I want to have some like types of branches hanging down into my picture here. We could do it on this side as well, have some different branches. You could even have some vines hanging down. 
but you're just creating a jungle picture around an animal whether it be a bird or these big oh, sorry friends you could have some big leaves as well because in the jungle there's large plants with big leaves I'm going to grab another green, maybe a light green to add in. So take your time. Once you are finished, I want to show you how to save your work. So you're going to go to the house that's up here by your the top of your toolbox. And you'll click on the house. And it will take you back to your big choices. You'll scroll, scroll down and click on the square with the arrow. Once you do that, it will open up other options and you need to find the square with an arrow again and that is to save your image to your iPad. Once your iPad has your picture from being saved from your drawing pad, you are going to come back to Canvas and you will be able to upload it to our submission. I hope you guys have a wonderful time creating an animal in the jungle inspired by Henri Rousseau. Have a great week, my friends.